simple facts I'm terrified of my toddler discovering. Public parks don't randomly close. TVs don't run out of batteries. There's no actual world record for fastest at putting away toys. Chicken the animal and chicken the food are one and the same. Got any to add? Bedtime was half an hour ago. My six-year-old just walked out, bleary-eyed, and asked his father if a duck is a predator. Some things are too important to go to bed without knowing. When I was 10, I told my mostly white class that I was Japanese, and a little white girl raised her hand and said, you can't say Japanese, you have to say Asian. And everyone agreed. My daughter asked why she can't just quit school and I told her it's against the law and they'll put me in jail. And my sweet, sweet child looked at me in the eye and said, I'll visit you. <laughs> One time when I was like 11, my dad took me to an Italian restaurant and the waiter asked what my name was. And I said, Sam, but you can call me Captain Ravioli. And my dad just looked at me and said, what the fuck was that? Don't do that. <laughs> and I've been chasing that high ever since. What is that one thing you did as a child that still gets brought up to this day? When I was a wee lad, my family and I were at a restaurant. We were waiting an unusually long amount of time for a server. I stood on my chair, slammed my fist into the table, and exclaimed, they're not helping us because we're black. We are not. <laughs> Ah, uh, the receipt. What did what did they order? We, we got, uh, kids mac and cheese, make it more orange in color if possible. I don't know, dude, just kill me. <laughs> a margarita and a small pizza with bacon. I don't think William D. was having a very good day. When I was a child, I went to the zoo and drew this monstrosity. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> yep, that's a duck, all right. Whenever I get discouraged and want to quit something, I remember the words of my then three-year-old after she puked carrots all over the living room floor. I'm gonna need more carrots. <laughs> Six-year-old. Do dragons fart fire? Me. I don't know. I thought you went to college. <laughs> I love how kids just assume that adults have the answer to literally everything. Because we're adults. I mean, come on. We, we're we smart. I, I, I'm not. Before I had kids, I thought I had a great immune system. But it turns out I was just really good at staying away from the type of people who sneeze directly into your eyeballs while telling you a story. I made my bed and found a half-eaten stick of butter in it. When I asked my child if she put anything in mommy's bed, she said, I did not put butter in it. The mystery continues. More at 11. I always told people I met Michael Jackson, but now that I found the picture, man, what the fuck? Who the fuck was this? <laughs> this is a classic. People coming over. Me, tidies up. Husband, fires up the barbecue. Toddler, removes all clothing. I would just like to thank the person who told my daughter that when she lies, her eyes turn a different color. Now she squeezes her eyes shut every time she lies, and my job just became a whole lot easier. That is actually genius. Genius. Nine-year-old didn't want to try my lemon loaf, but when I rebranded it as lemonade cake, he was interested. <laughs> my girlfriend teaches first graders. Her school's no tag policy is working great. So kids aren't allowed to play tag at school. So my kids played <coughs> virus. They couldn't touch, but coughed on each other to tag them. Oh no. Dumbest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? When I was in middle school, people were saying that I was homeschooled, even though I went to school. Yeah, well, you know, middle schoolers are, uh, f***ing stupid. I thought women had their periods forever. When my first period stopped, I assumed the neighbor's dog impregnated me when I pet him. For a month, I believed myself to be carrying a half-human, half-dog baby. This story is brought to you by Ontario Catholic School Sex Ed in the 90s. Three-year-old. Mommy, I don't want dinner. Me, I'm not making dinner, I'm making you a big snack. Yay, snacks! Future parents, write the <laughs> down. It just, it, it, if, you, if your kid doesn't want something, just call it something they do like. Hi. Hello. I understand your child has accidentally placed an order and you wish to cancel the order with a refund. I will help you. Great. Thank you. Just to confirm, are you referring to the Extreme Farts Extension Pack? Yes, that's the one. I wouldn't let her drink the chemicals under the sink. I would have let her, you know, got, gotta teach him. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke. My husband and I are surprising our six-year-old by taking him to Disney for his birthday tomorrow. We've been in the car for four plus hours and he still thinks we're on our way home from school. He keeps saying, looks like we're almost home. Bless his heart. <laughs> Update. We arrived to Disney World. He thinks we took a wrong turn and is very concerned about who is going to feed our cat. Oh, A rare moment where I hear a story about a kid and go, oh, that is so sweet and not, oh, I'd never want kids. My kids realized that I was missing Glastonbury this year, so they put on a music festival for us in the garden. It was, and I cannot stress this enough, f***ing awful. My three-year-old calls Flonace mommy's special nose medicine, and now my neighbor thinks I do 
Hate playing make-believe with little kids. You shoot them with a laser and they're like, actually, I went back in time so it doesn't count. The fuck are you talking about? You just casually rip open a hole in the space-time continuum? That's irresponsible as shit, pal. Parents of Reddit, what's your best example of reversed psychology on your kids that actually worked? Took my three-year-old son to one of those doctor's visits where he was going to get a shot. He was worried about the shot on the whole drive over, almost to the point of tears. We get to the doctor's office and a nurse subtly lets me know that my son is not just scheduled for one shot, but five of them in the same visit. I turn to my son with an exaggerated smile and tell him, good news, they figured out how to take that one big shot you were going to get and instead break it up into these five little tiny shots so they won't hurt nearly as much. You could see the relief wash over his face. He stopped squirming and relaxed completely. He took the first shot and even smiled and said, it's true, the small ones don't hurt. We actually made it through the third shot before the effect wore off and reality kicked in. Still, I counted it as a victory. My seven-year-old told me that Jeremy gives her all the answers at school. As the conversation went on, I found out that Jeremy is her brain. She named her brain Jeremy. <laughs> When my son Seth was little, he would beg his brother to put him in th this particular pillowcase and swing him around. I know it's insane and the only reason I'm telling you now is because they are grown up and I can't lose custody of them. <laughs> you even got pictures of it. You that is uh that is crazy. I I, I can't e I can't imagine anyone going, "Yeah, that that's okay." My nephew got a card from his teacher and was stoked. He read it, then instead of showing anybody, he sat pensively on the couch for a while. Finally, a quiet voice asked, "Auntie, how long have I had autism? Ian, thank you so much for being a part of my first class. I love your optimism. Ah, I see. Today, my son drew in red marker all over his face, then got scared that we'd be mad, so he tried to hide it by wrapping toilet paper around his head, like a mummy. Then he promptly ran into a wall and nearly knocked himself unconscious. A comedy of errors every day with this kid. I covered myself in blue marker when I was like two or three, because I wanted to look like blue from Blue's Clues, but um, uh, there was no way I was hiding that one. And there are pictures, and you're never gonna see them. My brother and I met our favorite superhero, the Hulk, when we were four. We were pissed off because Lou Ferrigno wasn't green. Damn, dude. <laughs> They are visibly upset. They they, uh, they had expectations and they were not met. Kids describe color to a blind person. Have you ever seen the color of a blueberry? I haven't seen anything ever. That's the whole point. There was a massive unflushed jobby in the toilet. I asked my kids who did it and my 10-year-old son said it was him. My 5-year-old son is crying because he says it was him and his big brother is taking the credit. Have a great week, everyone. As a 6-year-old, I saw a large woman and her large daughter in a store once. I looked at my large your mother and tearfully asked, does that mean I'm going to be fat like you? Honestly, when I think back, I thought I was a lot kinder than that while asking, but kids really have no filter. My husband as a young boy used to draw his family as stick figures and his mom as a circle. His dad had to tell him to stop. Kid in my son's class explained to me that she was sure he has two moms because he has the pretty mom and the other mom. She described each to me in great detail. Reader, both are me. What the f***, Daniel Tiger? This is ten times worse than my kids seeing violence on TV. We're setting up our inside beach. Hell no. If your son traded a Nintendo Switch for a fidget spinner today, please message me. Who in their right mind would trade a, like even a kid can't be that stupid, right? To, to tr like who would rather have a fidget spinner than a fucking Nintendo Switch? I, 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 I cannot believe that. While the world is fighting over TP, my toddler is giving ours a bath. Ah, this must have been three years ago. That is, uh, that sucks. A child ripped up their allowance because he wasn't happy with the amount. His mom walked out of her room and saw this. What would you do if this was your child's behavior? Keep it and give him a piece of it anytime he asks for money. <laughs> Dude, what kid has an allowance? Like, I, you get, like, money for your birthday, but, like, a kid having an allowance? Uh, I didn't have one growing up. The boys in our school have a new fad game. They take their water bottles and position them on their crotch like they're then rubs dicks with other boys. Amazing. And when they can't contain their excitement, they squirt each other. Like, this is what I have to deal with. I am speechless. How do you write that up to a parent? I bet the chads use smart water bottles. They lock the bathrooms during class now because boys would fill up a chip bag with piss, then throw them at each other. Sometimes I fear for humanity's future. Girls' bathroom also locked because they smear period 
blood all over the walls? This is fantastic. Like, on a daily basis. I never want to work with children, ever. My son bet me that he could make a piece of paper fly farther than I could, so he spent 10 minutes making the fanciest paper plane I've ever seen. The look on his face when I crumpled mine into a ball and launched it across the house was priceless. Sucks to be a loser, LaMau. <laughs> Nine-year nephew. Hey, smell this. You licked a puss. Me, Mutes TV. What? Nine-year-old? It's so good. Smell it. You licked a puss. Dot, dot, dot. Hands me a candle jar. It's pronounced eucalyptus. I just want everyone to know that my two-year-old insisted on being pants for Halloween. That's adorable. I had to walk behind my teacher during his Zoom class in order to go to the bathroom, and now his peers know that he has parents that he lives with. He's obviously very upset. Please send him your thoughts and prayers during this difficult time. You know what's wild? Remembering that children hear things for the first time without context and are literally like, what? I just said, see you later, alligator, to a four-year-old, and I think it was the first time they had ever heard that. They froze in their tracks, looked up at me completely bewildered, then replied, see you later, chicken, and kept walking. My friend's four-year-old put on a backyard puppet show for me, the sole audience member. Halfway through the show, she asked me if I liked it, and I replied, I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm on the edge of my seat. Hearing this, she carefully put down her puppets, came over to where I was sitting, and explained, you can use the whole seat. It's more comfy. Dude, I, I couldn't write that funny. It is bullshit how kids are unintentionally hilarious. Children are the best fundraisers because they don't understand economics. Principal, the student who raises $500 for the school will get this free hat. 12-year-old me, that is such a great deal. I had to work overnight last night, and while taking a nap today, I was vandalized. I have a picture and have detained the two suspects, but one is not cooperating. The only one who can speak blames it on the four-legged suspect who has no hands to pull off such a stunt. Thanks to my neighbor for pointing out that I have marker all over my face when I took the four-legged suspect for a walk before I realized that I was vandalized. My daughter was born when my son was just two. For the first six months of her life, we were constantly greeting her. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, little one. Hi, my precious baby. My daughter is 18 months old now, and no matter how much we correct him, my son is convinced her name is Hi. He will say, Mom, Hi's awake. Hi is hungry. Or my absolute favorite, Hello, Hi. Two-year-old eating his lunch. Papa's coffee hot? Me. Yeah, baby, it's hot. Don't touch. Me blow on it for Papa? It was at this point I witnessed with horror my two-year-old attempt to blow on my freshly made coffee, only to spit a half-eaten chicken nugget straight into it. I was expecting, like, oh yeah, she blew too hard and coffee went everywhere, but I think that is actually worse. Apparently, my nine-year-old nephew wanted permission to make a Facebook account, and my sister was like, no, you're nine. And then he figured out how to make one behind her back and got caught immediately when he sent her a friend request. Keep your toddler busy by letting them paint the fence with water. See, uh, that's a that's another good trick right there. If, if they won't stop annoying you or doing shit, just have them do this. Uh, they'll be just absolutely obsessed. The story behind this picture has me rolling. So there was this episode of Hannah Montana when Jackson pretended he lost his memory. So me in the second grade wanted to do it too. I had slipped and fell in the bathroom at school. Then I told my friends I couldn't remember anything. They told the teacher. Then I went to the nurse. Then I went to the hospital. They was doing hella tests. Whole time I'm faking it. I just remembered that when I got my first dog, I was seven and he was one. Seven in dog years. And I cried when he turned two because I didn't think a 14 year old dog would want to hang out with me. My 11 year old nephew gets a 69 hit combo in the shooter we're playing. Nephew, hey, 69, nice. Me, dot dot dot, explaining to me like I'm an idiot. The number 69 is a meme and nobody knows why. When I was six, I named my Animal Crossing character Sex and couldn't change it back, so I panicked, went outside the next day and smashed the game card with a hammer. I have lived with this my whole life. I have no idea how it let you name your character that, but okay. Thinking about in seventh grade when I got escorted to the police station after school, because they found out I was prank calling local businesses as Ricky PP. And when I walked in, the officer who was waiting there with my mom to talk to me said, if it isn't Ricky PP, <laughs> well, at least they had a good sense of humor about it. My niece done told her school we put wet in her food at home. That's why she be sleepy. Y'all, it's parsley. My sister's going to jail. A little kid came up to the ice cream truck today, holding a $5 in one hand and a cool leaf in the other. She asked for a bomb pop and I said, okay, that will be one leaf, please. And she said no and handed me the five dollars. Dude, I would have handed over that leaf so quick. I mean, free ice cream? Come on. 